welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to tell you about pests. There are thousands of pests in the world. This is the same with diseases. This will be a long episode, so let's get started as soon as possible. Number one, cutworms. A type of worm is considered the worst pest in the garden. You will find your tomato in your garden healthy and ready to be picked, beheaded, uh, the very next day. This can be solved by sprinkling cornstarch around the base of the plant. Cornstarch is cut worms' favorite food, but it hurts their digestive system, killing them. But also make sure you don't spray too much or, I mean, sprinkle too much or else it will attract other pests. Number two, aphids. A pest that poops candy, such sap from plants, they hide underneath leaves. There are two ways to prevent these. Uh, this, uh, one, plant, mint, fennel, dill, yarrow, and dandelions in the garden will attract beneficial bugs to the into the garden, which will then kill the aphids. Second, keep ants away from your plants. Ants are buddies with aphids. They help each other. Number three, army worms. These worms eat leaves. The way to prevent this is to hand pick. Pick the worm of the leaves off the leaves and drop them into a bucket of soapy water. Number four, flea beetles. The main way to know if the bitten part is done by flea beetles is to examine the spots beaten, uh, eaten. You need to check the leaves and see what they look like. If they look like uh, they are small holes, like they are shot with a gun, then it's bitten by flea beetles. If not, then they are not bitten by flea beetles. Mulch the, uh, mulch the soil so that the larva that turn into adults will not be able to survey surface is a good way to prevent the uh, flea beetles. Number five, corn borers. They look like cutworms and army worms. These spores eat their way into the middle of the fruit and destroy it. The way to prevent this is to attract beneficial insects to eat the eggs and young cap caterpillars. Number six, cabbage maggots are also larvae of a type of moth. This thing destroys roots of plants, killing them or creating entryways for bat viruses, uh, which will still kill the plant. This can be prevented by putting on row covers. Number seven, Colorado potato beetles is a beetle that has ten stripes on the back. Uh, it's kind of like they're found on potatoes, uh, like the name says it, and tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, which are a type of tomato, eggplant, and ventunias throughout North America. In order to prevent it, you can put on row covers or handpick them yourself. Number eight, speedy green or brown beetles with four wings that have black striped yellow triangles. These are a type of beetles called Mexico thing beetles. Uh, they can found, be found on many flowers, fruits, and vegetables throughout North America. The way to prevent this is to apply floating row covers or spray young nymphs with neem oil. Now you can de deal with each insect. The thing is to know how to know what type of them they are. I suggest you to search the description of the insect up in Google search engine. For example, you can search up black striped beetle and end up with the result of a uh, Colorado potato beetle. So after this video, march into your garden and start identifying, but also remember to subscribe, click like, and hit the notification button, and I will see you next time. But until next time, good luck in the garden.